Hello everyone, welcome to Clubek 9. My name is Ola Hari. I'm your host and I'll be teaching you on how to trade on Binance P2P. But before you go ahead to watching this video, make sure you've already activated your Royal Q account. Okay, and if you've not activated, you want to join, there will be a link in the description below guiding you on how to join Royal Q. And we also have other videos that um, you need to watch before um, completing this video. You need to watch how to activate your real queue, how to bind your real queue with Binance, then how to verify your Binance account, and how to navigate around the real queue app so you know what needs to do. We still have other videos, but uh, these are the important ones you need to watch before you go ahead with the P2P. Now, before you start the P2P, you have to ensure that your Binance account has been verified. And this is how you know if your Binance account has been verified. You have to click on Profile. Okay, Profile here. So, click. Then you click on this symbol. Here it's showing fail, but it has been verified. So, I'm, I'm going to show you now. So, click. So as you can see, this account is already has already been verified. So if your account is verified, you will see here we show completed, okay, and here we show verified. So these are the two things you need to look at for. And if you have to verify your account on Binance, make sure you provide your personal information, the government issue ID, and your facial facial recognition. These are the three things that Binance need for you to verify you can see the p2p transaction is showing unlimited so if you're able to um, verify your Binance account then you'll be allowed to carry out the p2p transaction and if you come to verify plus which is this then I was trying to do this so it has not verified this part but this doesn't really matter okay this will only ask for your proof of address this, that's what you need just to increase the number of withdrawals but we don't need that the only thing we need is verified if you are able to verify this aspect and this place is showing completed then you can say yes you want to verify your you want to carry out the p2p transaction now let's go back let's go back then click on wallets and when you click on wallets now um, identify that you are an overview okay so we will tell you all the money you have in your Binance in different wallets, okay? So what you need to do next is to click on Spots at the top. So Spots will show you the money you have here. So what we want to carry out first is um, buy. we want to buy a coin, okay? So just slide to the left and you see P2P, yeah. So here you click on Buy. The first action is to buy um, USDT using your local currency. So click on buy. So you come to this page, which is the marketplace. Okay, so you have a lot of buyer here, a lot of buyers here. So here you don't need to do anything here. We always recommend you use P2P Express, which is this. Just click on this arrow here. So this arrow will help you. You know with buyers so click on express now on express you can uh, this naira you can add the amount you want to buy maybe hundred thousand okay or you can add the money in crypto maybe you want to buy just click on crypto here okay so it will be showing usdt usdt then you can add the amount in usdt so just add um, about two hundred dollars, okay? Can you see that? So you can do vice versa, whichever one that works for you. But um, let's use the other one, which is by naira or by your local currency. Just add. You want to buy coin worth hundred thousand naira, okay? So click on buy. So here it's already telling us the exchange value is going to be 
568 that's the exchange value now this is the amount we are going to pay 100,000 naira and this is the amount of USDT that will be given to us that's 175.82 USDT that's the amount you will collect now after that just click on purchase so if your account is fresh you might be seeing some um, navigations just click on next just clear them off ensure that the, your screen is looking like this so the next thing is to go to the payment page okay so it's already giving you analysis of um, what you're buying which is all this here okay then this is a um, seller seller's um, username okay so the next thing we need to do is just to click on go to payment page so when you click it will now bring out the um, sellers details okay so any you can pay into any of these accounts so when you pay into this of this account the seller will um, confirm your payment and release your coin so just pay into any of this anyone you want to pay into just click on it okay let's pay into um as op paycom just click on it so when you click it will bring out the payment details now when you are done with your payment then click on when you're done with your transfer from your local bank after paying into this account okay copy into this account this person's name then click on this click on this that's transferred comma notify seller so when you click on this it shows you already transferred the money and the seller will be notified okay so you have to wait after the seller has confirmed the payment then the seller will release your 172 usdt that is inside the end scope okay so you will transfer the um, amount of hundred thousand naira this is the amount you transfer so when you transfer it when the seller confirm the payment then um, binance will release the coin because binance has already owed the coin from the seller okay so you don't need to bother yourself or be scared of any maybe um, they'll scam you or not no that's why we're going through the um express so that binance will bring us um trust sellers so i believe this part will help you in carrying out your transaction successfully without any stress so now i won't be activating this um, transaction okay, i'm going to cancel it so go back let's go back now so i'll just cancel here I'll just cancel it here okay so cancel so they will ask me why am i cancelling so if i cancel three times in a day then binance will have to suspend my account so I'm, this is just the first time i'm doing it for today then cancel so um the next one we want to do now is to buy to sell so sell simply means okay let me direct you on how to do that so so click on this cell here this cell here okay just click on it then it will switch okay sell simply means you have usdt okay in your spot wallet but before that let me show you how to transfer into your funding wallet so let's go back so here this simply means you have money in your spot this is your usdt okay you have money here now first and foremost you have to transfer this money to your funding wallet before you can be able to do p2p since you already since you want to sell your usdt so let's do the transfer so click on transfer click on transfer here transfer so transfer then we are transferring from spots to funding now after let's assume um you just bought the coin okay you have to transfer from funding to spots but now because we already have usdt we're going to transfer from spots to funding okay 
So if you want to switch, you can easily click on this arrow button by the side. Here. Okay. Just click on it. Can you see that? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is that we're transferring from spot to funding. So click on BTC. So we can change the currency. Click on USDT. Then how much are we transferring? Well, um, the amount we have there is eleven dollars. Eleven. Or you can click on max, whichever one you want to do. So confirm transfer. The transfer has been successful. So our USDT here has been transferred to our funding wallet. So click on funding. Funding. Funding, can you see that? So click on funding, the money will be here. Can you see 11.8? But we want to trade P2P. So you can click on P2P here. Click here, P2P. So it takes us to the P2P page. Click. Yeah, so we want to sell our USDT. So here, click on sell. So we are already on Express. So we don't need to change it anymore. So sell. Then you can sell all your USDT. Okay. Or you can sell part of it. But the minimum you can sell is $10. You can sell below $10. So when you say sell just click on the sell button then make ensure that you have already added your account number by clicking on payment method okay payment method so when you add your account details this um the buyer will see your account details so they will pay into your account so when you see the alert then you can release the coin but i don't want to cover this transaction so that they don't get to block my account so when you click on sell the minimum sell is okay the minimum we can sell here is 20 usdt and we don't even have up to that 20 usdt here so we're going to be i'm going to be ending this video regarding this now i believe we've already understand how to buy and how to sell so it's very safe we ca you can buy as much as 10 million 10 million um 20 million what of coin on this platform is very safe in as much as you are using p2p express is much more safer compared to buying from the marketplace okay you just come to arrow here click on express and uh, your transaction will be very very successful okay so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll be glad we're going to be having more videos that um, you will watch to ensure that um, you are able to grow your real queue business and move your real queue business forward and how to trade. Then um, we're going to release a video on the, um, how to trade, how to understand the real queue parameters and subbing mode. So stay tuned. Thank you very much. Bye for now.